I actually want to see you hit a corner three. I just want to see that beautiful, yeah, well, you the know. beautiful Lindsay Gooseneck stroke. There you go. Have you, ever, have you seen him shoot a basketball? No, I'm, I'm not very impressed. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's not. Let's not. Welcome to the More Than Just Dumbbells podcast. Kitty, I'm Jason Lindsay. Jason, I'm Kitty. Kitty Truax. Truax. Kitty Truax. Don't forget you the Truax. me up on that one. So, yeah, that's what I do. Ebra, Ebra. Kitty so, Truax. Kitty Truax graduated high school, like, I don't know, oh, like five years ago. Oh, four. Oh, okay. And four. so, did you, and you, and, and over high school. And over, and over, and over. And, 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 and. Go Huskies. So, yeah. Great. So, the Andover Huskies. Well, I've asked you this, but I think before, but was it 400 kids in your class? I think like two, 250. Okay. Yeah, not a lot. Because we all came from, I was the first graduating class of the high school. And it's ninth, so there was no senior 10th, class. 10th, 11th, and 12th? It was 9th, 10th, 11th, 9th, 12th. Four but grades. there wasn't a 12th grade when I first went yeah. there that first year. Exciting. So let me ask you this. <clears throat> At Andover High School. Yeah. In 2004, was there a, a school musical, a play? Yes. Absolutely. Did you partake? I did. Pr- did you try out? I was a tap dancing jitterbug okay. in The Wizard of Oz. Really? Yes. Okay, so The Wizard of Oz was the play. Yes. And they had tryouts. Yes. Yeah. I also tried out for Veruca Salt in Wizard or um, Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Okay. Don't care how. And you didn't get it? No. Really? I was a freshman. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> and I didn't get it because... You know, not because I was a freshman, but because yeah. there was so much talent. Yeah. And the juniors and the seniors always got it because they were almost on their way out. Yeah. You know. Gotcha. No, I so. understand. Do you, but when you were a senior, it was Wizard of Oz? Or j- uh, when I was a senior, it was at Andover. I don't remember. Okay. What, when, when the Wizard of Oz, what year would you, were you? I think 02. So you were a sophomore. Yeah, correct. Well, here's where I'm going with this. Was yeah, there, like yeah, the, yeah. the main character in Wizard of Oz is uh, Dorothy. Correct. Dorothy. And do you remember how many people tried out for Dorothy? I, I do remember how many people tried out for Dorothy, but we all knew who was going to get Dorothy. Oh, really? Dorothy even knew Dorothy. And why was that? Just because she was the one. Okay. Like we, I went to Anoka first. Yeah. So my sophomore year, I was at Anoka, which had like 5,000 kids in it. Uh-huh. So I was a small fish, yeah. massive pond, yeah. and there was there, there were just the two people, the Prince Charming and the Snow White. They, they got every role. Does that make sense? Really? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Why do you know someone like that no, from your but, high school? No, but our guest today, yeah, that we're going to have on here in a little bit. I didn't. He's a few years younger than me. The same okay. same little small high school. But yeah, every yeah. year, every year Blooming there was a Prairie. every year there was a musical. Yes, of course. And he, I think, we'll ask him. But I think he ended up. That's kind of maybe how he got into acting. Is he? He was the lead, really? maybe the lead. I think in the sure. well, he fa- was the Prince Charming. But then in college, I think he he ended up becoming a lead in a college play, which is Sweet. even. I mean, that's a, because Blooming Prairie High Macbeth, School. Macbeth, actually. I don't want right. to. You're absolutely right. I don't want to take anything away from his abilities, but Blooming Prairie High School is small. If you wanted to be Dorothy, and he's a dude, but let's go with of course. Dorothy, if you want to be a Dorothy, he wanted to be the Scarecrow. If you wanted to be a Dorothy, there would probably be. T- I would be surprised there was two or three gals Dorothy. that tried out potential Dorothys. Right? Yes. Yeah. So I never did the the play. Or the musical, I did the lighting in like ninth grade, and then oh, cool. I just moved on to do nice. other things. I just wasn't, I wasn't part of it. Yeah, dig it. So, but here's the thing. I want to ask him this, and I might forget. But did you have a senior class play? No. See, small towns, I think, do this. Like our our high school traditionally had a senior class play. We're o- really? only seniors, and we had sixty. Usually, there's about sixty kids per class in this small town, and you would, I think. The way it sounded is almost every kid participated, Shh, whether no they were behind way. the scenes or, or something, right? Okay, okay. A fun way to, you know, to... And, Say goodbye. Au right. Revoir. And I can't give examples of what they did because they weren't musicals, I don't think. I think okay. I think they would take the singing stuff out of it because that was one of the reasons I never participated. I can't sing a lick and I didn't want to... There's no way I could ever get a big part. It just wasn't my thing. Okay. But the senior class play, I was like, you know what? That might be kind of fun to just get a little bit involved in acting yeah. and see if I like it to see what other, what, what other people think of my grade too. And we didn't have it. Oh, <gasps> no. And y- here's the thing. Why not? I don't know, but she might be listening because I'm going to let I'm gonna let her know. I'm f- one of my favorite <laughs> favorite teachers of all time. Okay. She has no idea that I did a speech for the Boys and Girls Club about five years ago uh, speaking about how growing up in Bling Prairie, I was the keynote speaker, how growing up there influenced and affected me in you know, my life. Oh, wow. Family and, and school and okay, community. Okay, sure. And I wow. singled her out as my single favorite teacher. She was a speech teacher. Yeah. So, oh, cool. Yeah. And, but the one thing I'll say is I think she was the reason, and I know this sounds like a rip, but I, 
she did she did, she was involved in so many plays and musicals. I think she did, there was a conflict and it was just an effort. We're not going to have it. Oh no! That my senior oh, year. No. They've, I think they've had it before. And before they had it for sure, and I think they've had it ever since. But we did not have a. So you were the play. one year that got, yeah, screwed yeah. out of that. So that's scene. my way of okay, saying well. we might be interviewing me instead of. G- I'm kidding. Oh, I, <laughs> I see. I see where you're going. I could have no, been the lead no, of all no. leads. Easter. Hell no, no way. But Josh is the guy, man, and you did some dive on him. I know. I did. I know him from school and from you know after school. But what do you think? Do uh, you- okay. Do you have Disney Plus? I mean. Do you have Disney Plus? I, I'm not going to admit to him I do because, but I, I didn't have it until I don't watch it. I've okay, never seen the okay. I've never seen the Secret of Sulphur Springs. I don't even. And want, it's such a cool show. Yeah, that's what I've heard. When you told me about this, and I was like, oh no way. So you did watch an episode? I've watched a lot of oh, episodes. Yeah. Is, he, I, is he is he pretty good it. in there? It's it's phenomenal. He's great in it. Yeah. Absolutely, he's great in it. But the reason I love it, you know. Um, we just did a, a podcast where you asked me my favorite movies, and it was The Craft and yeah, Practical yeah, Magic and yeah, Hocus Pocus yeah. and all the magical stuff. Yeah. This is really paranormal. Oh, this is up your based. alley. This, this is, up is your alley. totally my alley. Uh, totally my Diagon alley. Wow. Well, here we go. I'm glad you watch it. Absolutely. Yeah, yes. He probably thinks I watch it, but I've but seen. But it is good. I've seen a lot of things he's done. It's very good. Yeah. He, I mean, he was in Mad Men. He was in American Horror Story Hotel. I haven't seen I want to know if he met Lady Gaga. Because she was that was well, the one that she was in. You're so find I'm out. really, really excited oh, gonna, to see no, that. He's going to love this. Cool. Yeah, well, hey, that's that's. And you went to high school with this cat, so kind of sort of. He graduated high school, I think, in 1995. Yeah, that's I was correct. 91. That is so, correct. so and and there's a lot of. His, I think his dad um, has a couple of brothers. So there's like there's a cousins of Bra- there's a lot of Brattons. I'm friends with a lot of Brattons. I play golf with. You Brattons. call them the Brats. No, I call them the Brattons, but I think they go okay. by Brat. But my point is, is I knew of him. There's a lot gotcha. of Brattons, but gotcha. he was four years younger, so he's okay. eighth grade. Sure, sure. But you know, I take it. But once I found out that he was. Out of college and a Hollywood yeah. actor, I told you this. I think off air, maybe it was maybe it was on air. I was like, well, we got to watch, we got to follow him and everything he's in. So once I found out he was on, a, he was on this big screen with like Dumb and Dumber, uh-huh. right? You know, went he to was the, in Semi Pro with Will Ferrell. I saw that in uh, in uh, Kansas City, really by myself. Yeah. Did you know it was him on screen? Well, yeah, of course. Oh, so well, I went. Well, God, don't no, yell. I don't should, yell. I should, let, let me backpedal. <laughs> that was the one movie. I shouldn't say the one. That was a movie that. If he wasn't in it, I still would have went. Because it's Will Ferrell. God, it's Will Ferrell. Exactly. But yes. it was so cool to see him in Will Ferrell. That's awesome. I'm excited to talk to him about all of this stuff. Yeah. He seems like a cool cat. Cool. Let's get him on. Let's. Boom. You're listening to the More Than Just Dumbbells podcast powered by PowerBlock. After the show, you should check out PowerBlock.com and you'll find a wide array of adjustable dumbbells and accessories. Along with an insightful blog, trendy apparel, high-quality workout and exercise videos, PowerBlock has everything you need to get your body and mind ready for spring. And now, back to the show. All right, guys, we're excited to be back. We've got somebody on Zoom, uh, all the great, all the all the pose. way from California. California, here you know, by by what by way of I don't know Winona, probably in, somewhere in there. I hear, but I hear blooming prairie. But he's not the first blooming prairie blossom that we've had on the podcast. He probably thinks he is. And but he's not. There was a guy named who? Um, Brad Nelson. And Brad Nelson M- no. might have, might have been a similar grade of graduating. But who we talking about here? We've got actor Josh Broughton. Josh Broughton. How you doing, Josh? I'm doing awesome. Welcome, sir. Yeah, Brad. Brad Nelson was on the. We were on the same basketball team together. He really? was. Uh, he was the one who played defense. <laughs> Go check out Brad Nelson. The Kettlebell King so, is what we called him. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So we we did have Brad on the podcast. You know, well, you, you right. I, I'm guessing you it. still stay in touch with Brad somewhat, right? You guys. Yeah, I, f- yeah. I like to follow Brad on on Instagram, especially like now during this uh, the uh, the the year of our uh, COVID discontent, when uh, you know can't really get out to too many gyms or get out to play basketball or anything. So I'm like, hey, Brad, I've got some uh, I got some logs and some rocks <laughs> around. Like, what should I do to get fit? Very Minnesotan of you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> and, oh, and, and he'd be excited to get that Absolutely. taxi. I'm sure like, he ah. would be like, that's rad. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of Minnesota, yeah. you're from Minnesota, but where are you coming from now, Josh? Where you uh, I'm in San Diego right now. <clears throat> yeah, beautiful San Diego. Uh, about a eh, few clouds in the sky, 74 degrees probably. Oh. A little warm. That's, that's nice. It sounds beautiful. <clears throat> Josh, you, you, you've been in San Diego for a few years, but you did live in Los Angeles for a long time. Be- yeah, because I, 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 I you're in the business. You're in the, in the acting. Right. But you're an actor. You're in you're in the Hollywood you know acting yeah, business. Yeah. So why did you move to San Diego? 
Uh, my wife's family is actually uh, down here. And, um, uh, you know, we discovered that uh, the mortgage on the house was, uh, was, was pretty ridiculous in L.A. And uh, maybe we could uh, get out, make some money and come down here where it's uh, you know, maybe close to the family. And it's slightly uh, less expensive to live here, although that's even now that's starting to uh, starting to tick up. Um, and uh, the tacos and burritos are better here as Got well. It. Oh, hundred so. percent. Good. Touché. So you know, we had an actress on a few weeks ago, the gal from Boise. Yes, Lisa Davis. Lisa Davis been in you know been in some movies and any she lives in Boise. This this is becoming more common. Is is it? Do you see this? Is it? Do you don't need to be in L.A. Right. now to make it to make a living there? Do you? Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to think. Um, since the world got turned upside down two years ago, I, I haven't been up to LA for in like an audition or a meeting or a you know pitch or anything like that since. Yeah, since 2019, I think was the last time I was oh. up there for anything like that. Wow. Okay. Everything I've done has been like this. Yeah. 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 Um, in fact, my last my last job that I actually had to go up to LA. To film, um, which is the uh, uh, Ryan Murphy's uh, Netflix um, Jeffrey Dahmer uh, thing. <gasps> I um, I actually just did like did one of these yeah. and uh, and auditioned that way. And uh, they called me like three months later, and like they were like, "Oh yeah, we decided we like you, so why don't you come up and do this?" <laughs> I mean, that's um, got, that's yeah, got, so I, yeah. I know people who live in Mississippi, yeah, Atlanta, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, New York, obviously. Um, yeah, but I started out in Chicago, and I probably, you know, if if I started there now, I probably would just stay there. Mm. Um, but I was working at a, I was in a working at a bookstore for like seven dollars an hour and doing plays at night, just burning the candle at both ends, and you know, I could barely. I was eating ramen noodles from the yeah. the, the corner deli or whatever. Uh, so I had, yeah, I had to come out to LA and 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 try to make it work it. out here. Well, it's, it's got to be a, be a benefit that you have such a track record. You, you're 20 years now or more, 25 years, right, in the industry. So it's you don't have to be there as much maybe as a newcomer. But let's go back to the beginning. Yeah. Yes, N- Knowing the cornfields you grew up in, because, you know, the same mean street. Same we walked the same mean streets. We did, you know. That's right. Man. Well, the same hallways of that wonderful school with 60 kids per class and – um, Small town humbles. What, what was when did you know that you wanted to be an actor? Did you know in high school, or was it later in life? Uh, I, I think es- essentially in my heart of hearts, like I knew, I knew right away. I knew when I was nice. like five years old. Okay, wow. But I had no way to sort of like um, conceptualize that or make it make it work because, like as you know, Jason, we didn't we didn't know a lot of like TV actors who lived in blooming Prairie. (laughs) Like it wasn't like, no, like if you want to get into like siding and windows or maybe sell insurance, like we got somebody you can talk to about that. You got a mentor there, uh, huh? Yeah. There are plenty of mentors in BP that way. But uh, yeah, I, I I don't know. I think when I, when I went to the Guthrie for the first time on my little like field trip from uh, Winona state with my, like all my, all my theater friends, all my, all my drama, my fellow drama nerds and the, um, our our like our acting the head of the drama department came up with us and like chaperoned and sh- and she whispered to me like at right before intermission of of the first play that we saw she goes you can do that mm. wow. and i was like well, what is that and so like intermission hits and i'm like what, would, what did you say she said you can do that you can you can be up there doing what those people are doing there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing that mm. That had to be impactful. But that's wow. probably when I knew, for 20 her. years old, that's maybe. That's awesome. Yeah. What a kick-ass teacher. It's cool. Yeah, she was cool, man. Wow. She was, yeah, she's actually, she's sort of famous. Her name is Vivian Fusillo. She's like in her 90s now, mm-hmm. still lives in Winona. And um, the the character that Anne Margaret played in Grumpy Old Men yeah. is mm-hmm. not so loosely based on her. Okay, wow. Yeah. That's so, incredible. Like, yeah. She's a fabulous. That's that's lady. a great that's a great story. That is cool. Well, Thanks for sharing that. Josh. Good for her. That's nice yeah. to hear that people. Good shout out too. Do things like that to help other people along. So and now Josh, look at you. well, let's jump into how you did you. But I know you went to Chicago, and I think there was voiceover and things you were doing like that. Geeking. But what? But at some point, did you pack up the jalopy and go to L.A. and say, "I have no effing clue what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try"? Was it that kind of story? Yeah, I was playing. Um, 
I was playing Santa Claus uh, in a in a play in a musical on the north side of Chicago in this church. It was like free admission, and the the. <laughs> I don't know what it was, a unity church. So I don't know what he would be, uh, be a pastor, I guess. Mm -hmm. He was like this, uh, this dude who used to live in New York and um, like ran with like Christopher Durang and all of like the 1980s, like everybody who was hip with it and wow and and, and on Broadway and stuff. And he's like, I want to do plays here at my church. So that's how I was, you know, I was Mm -hmm. working at the bookstore and I saw this, this ad come through for it. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll go audition for that. And uh, yeah, ended up doing that, and and the woman who actually played, the, the play was about Santa, like going through his entire life, hmm. and so the woman who played my mom was friends with this guy in L.A. who had been, like, worked for Joel Silver and it was a cat, knew a bunch of casting directors. And he came and saw the play one night, and was like, uh, "What are you, what are you doing here?" <laughs> and I was like, "What do you?" I'm like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "What are you? Why are you doing plays here?" And he was kind of, I thought like I was kind of took I was kind of taken aback. I thought he was kind of rude about yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah. like, do you just do you want to go to LA or New York or what? What, do, what are you gonna do? And I said, Well, I'd like to do TV, I think. And he's like, Okay, just let me know. I'll you know, wow. I'll, I'll call wow. call my friends and let them know you're coming. And it was like literally like that. So I wow. I grabbed my I packed up my life into two duffel bags and I had, I pulled out the uh, nine hundred and eighty six dollars that was in my checking account. Mm-hmm. <laughs> crashed on my friend's you know yeah. floor and their their wow. two-bedroom apartment in north hollywood and yeah. um wow i think i got my first job within like three weeks like total just a just pure luck what 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 was it um, what was your first uh, it was spin it was spin city i was playing a minor league baseball pitcher yeah and uh and yeah, my first scene was with charlie uh, sheen charlie heather sheen. locklear was it? And heather locklear. yeah charlie sheen was doing it got he it. was like trying to be a uh he was trying to relive his glory days of being a baseball player. Oh. So he tried out for this team that I was a pitcher on. And like one of our scrimmages, I kept striking him out. And then he was all bummed out. And Heather's character comes to me in the locker room where I'm just wearing like a towel. And she's like, uh, she's like, Hey, can you throw him some, uh, can you just throw him some meatballs? <laughs> Maybe, you know, I can like, get him out of your hair. And I was like, nah, no, I don't really do that. And she's like, <laughs> throw him some meatballs. She's like, well, how about this? Uh, you do that. You let him get a hit. And, uh, I'll go out with you. I was like, hey, "What number is he? What, what's he wear? What does yeah. he look like? Yeah. Who's, which one is he?" Like, yeah. yeah, dig it. Yeah. I remember that. That was like 2000, 2001. Was that wow? What, was that the year right around two thousand, Josh? Yeah, Ish. it was two thousand one ish, something yeah. like that. Very yeah. cool. So you had Spin City, and then you know that progressed into some some pretty big things. You got Mad Men, New Girl, uh, Dumb and Dumber. Er, you were on Semi Pro with Will Ferrell. We were talking about in the intro. Um, my yeah. question, American Horror Story. Did yeah. you meet Lady Gaga? I didn't. No, oh, I got God. to like I got to see her. I just saw like I, I, I saw this vision of like a presence. human being sort of walking towards a, a trailer in between some two vehicles and had this like in my mind, in my memory now, she had like a chiffon, like a long like a twenty foot long chiffon robe on or something like that, but it's probably not really what she was wearing. <laughs> And like like bodyguards next to her yeah um she was actually she was working a couple of the days that i worked but i just never sure i don't know i i hate to like fanboy when people are trying to work you know because she probably she probably had you know tons of lines to memorize yeah. Or like, yeah you know she's a person too so she probably wants to just focus on her work well speaking of fanboy have you ever you know privately fanboyed from any any of your situations or your roles yeah i mean working on um semi-pro was just kind of weird just because i was i always loved what will ferrell did on on saturday night live and i liked all his movies and stuff and um i think yeah the first the, when i went to the first table read for that we would just like sit around the table and read the script and most of the people were there and i think the only people who weren't there um, maybe Maura, Maura Tierney wasn't mm-hmm. there, but Jenna Fisher from the office yeah. came and did it as like a favor, you know, like, oh, just friends, hey, pop by and do the reading with us. Um, and Sweet. Woody Harrelson was still, I think he was in Maui at the time. So John C. Riley came and did the table. Nice. <laughs> it was just like, so you're just sitting there and doing that. You're just like, yeah, somebody doesn't belong here. <laughs> <laughs> so who is it? The- Don't nobody hand me a mirror. Yeah. 
Um, That's funny. Yeah. Well, Josh, it's, what about it's cool. what about like what about your you do you get recognized? I mean, I know we got you know you don't we don't go out as much, especially in California, but you've got yeah. this really popular show that everybody's watching, or a lot of people are. I love it. And I mean, I gotta think you're. You love the show. I love it. Oh, Who's Kitty, your favorite character? Kitty loves it. I haven't seen it. Um, probably your son. You, know, you got to see. You can. You can. You can jump on Disney Plus. I have your Disney son. Plus. What's his real name? Preston. Right Preston is that his real name? Preston Griffin. Yeah, yeah he's he's probably a pistol. Him. He's funny. Yeah. I mean, sorry, man. No, I just you, are people recognizing you because you seem like in a really good position where you're carving a nice living in Hollywood, but you don't have to get bothered like the A-listers. Right. You know. Yeah. It. Um. You're right. Like this time period is kind of weird because, like, you know, even when you like you go pick up something at Target or whatever, you're you know usually got a mask on and you just try to yeah. grab something yeah, yeah. so nobody yeah. yeah you wouldn't get yeah. recognized. Right. I I think Landon from our show actually got recognized at Disneyland while he was wearing a mask. <laughs> really? They were like somebody came, some kid came up and was like, "Are you that kid?" <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, it's me." Um, <laughs> is that the red-haired no, kid? I, yeah. Is that the red-haired one? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah why well, he plays Wyatt. He's yeah, great. Yeah. Um, I, you yeah, know, I was actually in St. Paul uh, over the 4th of July, and I went to go see a college. Like, I was staying at an Airbnb, like, literally five blocks from where my college, one of my college roommates lived. And he's like, Yo, come on over. Come over and say hi to the kids or whatever, you know. We'll, um you know, we'll just we'll chat for a uh, we'll chat for a bit, and then you can go grab dinner or whatever. So I when I get over there to the street, like I park and I get out and I and I look out onto the sidewalk, and there's probably fifteen to twenty kids holding little little markers and notepads. Wow, nice! Just like Sweet. okay, this is what's this is what's going on. Yeah, now. yeah, that's awesome. That had to feel cool. Hey, though. I'm the eight to the eight to eleven year old range. Uh, I might as well be Tom Cruise. You're an A-lister you there, are, yeah. Man. That's, Charlie Sheen, Tom yeah. Cruise hey, rolled that, into one. I would rather be an A-lister for that <laughs> age group yeah. than any other age group. Hey, of course. I want to. Yeah. I want to take this. You're in great a, as Ben. Let's Gosh, take this in a. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, yes. sol, uh, Secrets of Sulphur Springs. Yes, let's, on Disney Plus. Which is how many seasons now? Three. Season two is released on okay. January 14th. Yeah, okay. season two comes out. Season two comes out Friday. Okay. Uh, Eight seven central on Disney Channel, and then it'll yeah. be later. It'll show up on Disney Plus sometime after that. I don't know how the analytics and metrics and, and uh, computer systems work. I'm looking forward to it. That's I'll start watching it. I have Please I just do. I have Disney Plus. Please I just, do. You know, why would you not watch your friend Ted Lasso? That's why I'm kidding. The uh, I I will watch. You were his hero. <laughs> now the least you can do is watch his cool show. On I'll Disney watch Plus. his show. Stop okay, yelling. Fine. So I want to. Yeah, you. I looked up to you. I looked up to you. Yeah, when I was whatever. Rolling my yeah, jeans yeah. in seventh so, grade. So so speaking of looking up to people, let's go a completely different direction. If you can tell the story. Story, and maybe you don't want to, but I think you. I want to hear it. Oh my! Where um, are we going here? I, w- I want to hear playing football with the Baldwins. Whoa! Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, you wanted to yeah. talk about Baldwins, this, didn't you? This is a good story. All isn't right, it? I'm saddling up. Do tell. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, I, I've been I've been playing uh, like Texas Hold'em with uh, with my manager and some of my buddies and some of his other clients. And um, one night we were. It was actually I think it was the night of like the. Remember the the malice in the palace the, that uh, the the fight in Auburn Hills in the NBA when this, like this is like twenty years ago, right? The crowd, yeah, this was like twenty years ago. Ron Artest and Ben Wallace, whatever. There was a big, it was like a massive brawl in the uh, basketball arena. So we were playing cards and watching that, and um, uh, Daniel Baldwin was there, who was re- being represented by uh, my manager at the time, and uh, somebody brought up the idea of like, hey, let's play some flag football this weekend. We're like, oh, yeah, that's not, that sounds fun. You know, we're still. I was probably I was in my twenties, so I could probably I could probably go and play flag football and then actually walk the next day back yeah. then. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. So we yeah we get there and we're like we don't have that many guys. There's like we had five guys and and uh, somebody's like, hey, can anybody know anybody who lives around here? We can call anybody. And um, so Daniel's like, hey, let me call um, I, let me call my, my brothers. Let me call Billy. I think he's around. He's actually he was in, he was in New York. I think he's here now. So um, yeah, he call he calls Billy, and, and Billy's like, uh, yeah, where are you playing, Mar Vista? Dude, I'm like 20 minutes from there. I'll, I'll come over. Let, um, wow. And uh, let me call. I'll I'll call Steven, See if he wants to <laughs> to do it. And then and then at some point and then at some point uh, I think Daniel was like oh, I should probably call Alec too I think he's actually around. Oh my gosh. Um, so when it comes down to it, like 
literally 45 minutes later, it's like me and my buddies were getting paired up on, uh, you know, the Baldwin brothers versus Baldwin brothers battle. Yeah. So it was wow. basically like Daniel was captain of one team and Alec was captain of the other team. And, uh, you know, where it's, it's, it's getting physical and, and at one point, oh, dude, it was so hilarious. I, I think, I don't think Alec had played. I don't think he'd played anything competitive in a, probably several months. So like he's telling my buddy, like, my buddy comes back to the huddle after a bad play and he's like, what are you doing? I told you four steps, four <laughs> steps and then go out. What are you, do I got to speak Portuguese? What's going on? Um, oh, it was amazing. Just, an, but they were, no, they were, but they were, dude, they were really fun guys. And just like, Great you know, they, they were like normal dudes yeah. when yeah. they, you know, they got out there. They probably hadn't played anything like that together in 10 years. They're just there to have fun. I'm guessing it turned into tackle though with those guys. It got physical. I mean, I do remember that it was like brotherly love. The going sun on. was starting to go down, and like some people wanted to stay, and definitely some people wanted to go home. You know, <laughs> so, I love it. Yeah, we 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 ended it before it got too weird. Okay, so flip it. Yeah. That was a great question. Yeah. Great story. Crazy. Thank you so much, Crazy. Josh. That was awesome to share. Right. I want to know when you get a, a a gig or a role, right? Do you have any celebration rituals that you do each time you land a sweet gig? Um. You know, something I learned from um, my wife, which is really cool, that she learned from her, uh, she, was a, she was an actor way back in the day when we, when we were both starting out, um, was um, to do something, always do something nice for yourself after you have a big audition, call back, get the job, whatever it is, do something nice, but, you, but keep it consistent. So like if you got a favorite coffee that you like to get, go, go do your thing, drive, you know, drive, drive uh, 18 miles for, you know, two and a half hours to drive 18 miles over to Santa Monica <laughs> and uh, do your, do your uh, audition at Netflix or whatever. And then, and go get your, go get your nice coffee when you're done. Uh, huh. Cause you put, you know, we put, you put a lot into it. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. I think I've said this before. Four, and I'm, I'm trying to do the math now at 20 years I've probably had uh, I'm guessing I've had about 2,000 job interviews Wow! and you can do the math by looking at my INDB page that I've gotten about 50 jobs yeah so those are not yeah, yeah, right. those are not good odds you got to be kind of uh, cuckoo and uh, or or just be totally fine with rejection right which, right uh, yeah. I mean, I forget stuff like somebody will go, Hey, how did that, 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 um, animated thing that you auditioned for, how did you end up getting that? And I'm like, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> and then they're like two weeks ago, we, yeah. we were at the park and you said you had this big, this big thing for Disney or whatever that you were going to audition for. And I'm like, Oh yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't hear anything about that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so <I was> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's okay. Is. And that's okay because you do have some pretty cool roles. I do want to touch on yeah. Sulphur Springs one more time yeah. and promo that mm -hmm. it, that it is coming out here yeah. on January fourteenth. Yeah. Um, you know, do you see this is now season two? Do you see a season three in the future as well, Josh? Yeah, I mean, I'll do I'll, I'll do thirteen, fourteen if they want to. I don't, I'm 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 ready for it. Um, I think it's it feels good. You know, you never you never really know with these things, especially now in this this day and age, things are. Things are always in flux, and um, but uh, we all have so much fun, and the kids are, the kids just keep getting better and better. Mm -hmm. um, I think you're gonna see like, oh, man, a lot of the stuff that uh, that Kylie gets to do this year as she's playing. I don't think I'm giving anything away to say that she's playing two characters in Ooh. season two. Wow, she's playing herself and then a relative from Ooh, a long lost from relative the long that she lost. never okay. met. Sure, yeah, that she. Yeah, looks a lot you like. Gotta watch it, Jason. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'll I'll do as many as they want to do. Dig it. Now we are sponsored by Power Block. We are. So I want to know how do you yeah. stay fit, Josh? What does your fitness routine look like, especially if you're doing, you know, a lot of Power shooting, Block. a lot of on set? Is there any tips and tricks and secrets from the actors? He texts that you B can, Rad. Gets, that you can well yeah. B Rad with logs and rocks. That's yeah, cool. Yeah. But yeah. What, if, what if you don't have logs and rocks, bro? Yeah. Yeah, man, I got, you know, I, I got, I did, I, I had to set up a little, uh, just because my gym closed and really missed that. They had, they had the gym and then, you know, the kids club, just drop the kiddo off there and then go work out for two hours and get that free babysitting. I always love that. Oh boy. 
Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, for me, I think because I'm in my uh, mid forties now, um, it's a lot of it's like nutrition. So like I had this, I had this really cool, uh, really cool photo shoot with uh, this photographer named Storm Santos in Ooh. LA um, a couple of days ago. And so just kind of prepping for that, I was, I was doing a lot of, was doing a lot of running um, and just a lot of core stuff and like yoga um, stuff to stay flexible. I wasn't doing a lot of like heavy weights for that, but um, oh man, I was, you know, I went down the old Google rabbit hole and decided, you know, what do I, what do I eat? And I sort of landed on these, like, you can't really even call it a smoothie because it was basically water kale ginger and lemon and Ooh. so like i was going through like a couple bags those big bags from the grocery store of kale a day um and uh yeah nice. eating stuff that terrible really tends Ugh. to uh keep i was gonna say how was that fit. detox for you josh Ugh. oh man not, not good huh yeah but it's a good feeling when the pants start slipping down a little bit yeah, and you're like yeah. oh maybe i need to go shopping yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah you know well, yeah really kale yeah that's yeah, awesome. No, I remember. I remember the infancy of Power Block. Ooh, yeah. I remember. Do you tell? I would, I know guys who were there on the ground floor, like guys my age who who, who yeah. worked at the place in Owatonna and were were there when it was being. Well, you well, it started in '93 in Owatonna. Yeah. You graduated in '95. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Well. Yeah, '95. I think. Um, I'm pretty sure. I think. Uh, Ray Trom, who's now an executive chef at the the Renaissance and. Uh, Phoenix, the Renaissance Ooh. Hotel. I think he was there wow. on the ground floor. I'll have to go hit that like up. making that stuff way back in the day. Wow, small world. Yeah, small. It's good small. Yeah. From, from the cornfields of Blooming Prairie to Hollywood. There you are, Josh. The secrets of Sulphur Springs, Josh Brown. We're not done with you yet, dude. We no. we do like to keep our podcast to like a forty minute tour, right? Not. Mm -hmm. And so we're we're we got we, but we got to do trivia. But yeah, before yeah. we get the trivia, where do we find you? Yeah, follow we, you and friend you, Josh. Oh yeah, just my name on Twitter, Josh Broughton, um, J O S H B R W A ten, um, and yeah. the uh, and Instagram. I think I had to slide in the uh, the underscore because some kid took Josh Broughton. But what are you gonna do? Son of a gosh. Um, yeah, the the, uh, the 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 Snapchat and the TikTok and the the book face. I haven't figured those out yet, but. Uh, you know, no judgment. See if I need to get there. no judgment. So, hey, and by the way, if if you are local, and we have a lot of local, we have a lot of all over the country we listeners. Like local. But check, you know, check out if you don't listen to K Fan Sports Talk Radio, you're going to hear Josh will be on there quite a bit. That's what I hear. He'll at least be emailing or tweeting or facebooking or something in there. <laughs> one of one of us Hollywood actor Book guy facing. is uh, is what he goes by. Yeah, I think I'm going to be on there Friday. And you're also still a fan of the Vikes and the Wolves, I understand. Yeah, that's what... Um, Maybe the Wolves more than the Vikes? You know, yeah, I think the Wolves a little bit more than the Vikes, but uh, it's what uh, it's what keeps me, I don't know. Sad? You know, maybe that's why my, when I get rejected for these big oh, parties... Oh, it's not that big a deal. Like, oh. like, yeah, it right. doesn't so mean as much, up. right? Because I've great. been rejected yeah. by great my lesson. sports teams for yeah. over 40 years. Yeah, yeah. Touche. You know? yeah. That's a great they just way keep to put losing it. and losing. But I love them. I will still Thanks for your watch loyalty, their games brother. and pay for their merchandise yep. and, and, and tweet about them. Hey, we got big things Thanks, coming guys. up for the Wolves. Maybe not this year, but, okay. but sometime. But anyway, all right, let's, let's do yeah. some trivia. You ready, Dan? Hang on. Don't go anywhere. All right. It's time for the Fitness Inquisition. No one ever expects the Fitness Inquisition. All right. The way this is going to work is I've got five... Magical fitness related trivia questions. Magical, he said. They're they're magical. So I'll read off the question and then if you know the right answer, use your name as your buzzer. So shout out your okay. name and the first name I'll hear I hear, I'll turn it over, give you the opportunity to answer it. If you get it right, we'll let you know and we'll praise you. If you get it wrong, we're going to embarrass you. So no pressure at all whatsoever. So get some. Get some. All right. If everybody's Ooh. ready to go. Yeah. Locked and loaded. I just, I just became little Joshy from Blooming Prairie again. I'm so <laughs> oh, nervous. Joshy. All right. <laughs> That's a kitty sucks at this. You'll be fine. All right. Here we go. We're gonna start off easy for this one. Uh oh. What is the chemical name for salt? Jason. Jason. Na. 
Uh, sodium chloride? Yes, that is uh, correct. Sodium yes. chloride. Oh, man. N-A. Nice job, Not Casey. applicable. That's what that meant. N-A-C-L, if you want to. Yeah, N-A-C-L. N-A-C-L. Well, whatever. I got it. Okay. All right. okay. A, uh, okay, question number two. <clears throat> a person with diabetes produces an insufficient amount of what? Kitty. Oh. Kitty? Insulin. Ooh. That is correct. Yes. Are you going to give him time? I think there's Just a lag going. over here, guys. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I, oh, they're definitely you probably said here. Your there is a lag. I even heard the end of the question. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> well, you should see Jason. He says his name halfway through the what? question. I'm not anymore because he got on my case. <clears throat> oh, man. Okay, question number right. three. Citrus fruits are a great source of which vitamin? Kitty. Hey, Josh. Give it to Josh. Josh? Vitamin C. That is correct. Yes. Now everybody's got one. It's over. It's on. All right. It's on now. Yeah. There's one here. It's a There's one here. About, here we go. Uh, Thirty feet away, and one over here, fifty feet away, and they taste totally different. It's weird. <gasps> you would say that about oranges and Must lemons. Must be nice. Oh god, that sounds great. Yeah. All right. No scurvy for you. Now they're getting a little bit tougher here. Okay. What region of the brain controls appetite? Josh. Josh. Okay, so I'm going to say because I only know uh, of one region, I'm going to say the cerebral cortex, just because that's the only one I know. That is incorrect, Jason. Kitty. Fuck. Jason. Hypothalamus. That's what I was that going to say correct. too. Oh. That's exactly what I was going to yes. say. Wow. Nice job, Jay. Uh, right. Chuck Weed would be really proud of you. <laughs> yes. The late great Chuck. The late, Weed yeah, gone but proud. not forgotten. His name is last name is yep. Weed. Yeah. Really? All right. Great okay. teacher. Good guy. Final question. During digestion, what do all carbohydrates other than fiber break down Kitty. into? Kitty. Sugar. Sugar, that is correct, yes. Oh, man. That's a tie. I would have guessed Mountain Dew. We have a tie. <laughs> we officially have a tie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sierra missed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Beautiful. We got a tie, Jay. Are we going to do overtime? Okay. We do have a tie. We do have a bonus question. Oh. I've got one bonus question. I think Josh I'll can sit out and heckle. Question. And, uh, Josh can pipe in. Josh then, can ask And then it'll question. be a three-way tie, there and we'll go. call her good. Absolutely. Yeah, join it. Join right in, Josh. If if we, we right. if join we in, a Josh. Three way tie. That's yeah, everybody wins. <laughs> okay, there. Um, other than the United States of America, there is only one other nation on the planet that allows prescription pharmaceuticals to advertise. What nation is Josh. that? Josh. Josh. Uh, it's Botswana. <laughs> <laughs> Close, but that is not correct. Jason. Okay. Jason. It, it's, you know, there's obvious, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Japan. That mm. is closer, but not correct. Not. Are we going China? It is not China. No, I don't that know. is not Taiwan. Correct. Taiwan? No. What is it? New Zealand. Indonesia. Re- oh. The Kiwis? Wow. New Zealand. Really? Wow. You don't have any more questions? We're calling her a tie. That's all I got. Right. So yeah, we'll, that's all I got for today. That's it? Well, fantastic. So, yeah, today ends in a tie. First time ever. Boring. (sighs) Botswana. Cool, man. That was it. That was the the answer of the day. Who goes to the playoffs then since you tied? Yeah. I'll punch him. I'm going to the playoffs. It's my turn. I don't know. It's my turn. Josh, it was a freaking pleasure to have you on our show. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for Uh, having me. Thank you for doing another season of Secrets of Sulphur Springs. If I'd have known that you were doing heavy radio, we would have waited a week or two or whatever. I appreciate it, man, because I didn't know... I'm guessing you've been on a lot of shows because of the show coming out tomorrow, or Friday. Yeah. Friday. Yeah. Now, this is recorded, so it'll be... So it's going to be like two or three weeks afterwards, so you're still going to get an uptick in people going to... Yeah. That'll be perfect. ...Disney yeah. Plus, so yeah. Yeah. check it out. Boom yeah. shakalaka. That'll be awesome, guys. Well, thank you, Josh, again, from Power Block, from Jason and myself. Let us know. Let time. me know when you're in town, dude. You can come in studio yeah. for another session or... Let's play some sackle football. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Bring the, right bring the ball in. All right. right. Thank you, Josh. See you, Josh. Have a beautiful Thanks, day. Guys. Thank you for the sunshine. Peace. Take care. So, Josh Bratton. Bratton, indeed. From Blooming Prairie, Minnesota. Pretty funny, isn't he? I really enjoyed him. I'm, you know, I'm <clears throat> very glad for his comedic presence. We just, yeah, I just got that, you know. Just random. That's nice, why I knew. Nice trivia question, too, by the guess. way, Dano. Very nice. I should have asked him that if he's ever done it, if he's thought of doing any stand up or whatever. Probably not. Cause he's, he's busy doing acting. He's but. busy acting on TV shows. Apparently, someone's like, hey, what are you doing here? Why are you doing plays here? Yeah. 
Let me know when Winona you want to do State. some real stuff. We didn't talk much about it, but that's a small college in yeah, Minnesota. Yeah, for sure. 8,000 8, students, I think it is. A small town. And I yeah. didn't ask him about Macbeth either. He was the yeah. title lead in yeah. Shakespeare's Macbeth. Yeah. You didn't remind me about the Baldwins, but I aren't you glad oh, that I did? I'm <laughs> super glad. <laughs> that's yes. funny. He's he's told it. The first time he told it, it wasn't different, but I, the way I remember it, and it, 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 it was a, a great story. It's the same thing, but it was just like all of a sudden, you know, it's Stephen Baldwin playing cards with, and next thing you know, Baldwins are showing up left and right. You know, 45 minutes he's later. He's texting and Alex, the and, then, and then Alex there, who's, they're all famous, Gosh. but he's the most famous. And yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is like 2005, six or something, sure. 15, 20 years Very ago. Very cool. Very cool guest. Thanks for getting him on yeah. the podcast. Yeah, cool. All right, we got to run. Yeah, we do. Make sure to go check out powerblock.com, world's best dumbbell. Built Adjustable different. kettlebells, built different. We are sponsored by them, and we really, really love their products. So go check out powerblock.com, and we will see you next week. Peace out. <laughs>